Okay, shalom, shalom. Kom ya shala. Ko holoy mla yahwa bahashim yahwa shai bahashim kahakodash. The Bible honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awa, just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And I wanted to get this uh, Psalms chapter 147, verse 5. And it says, Great is our Lord, and of great power. His understanding is infinite. And this is a scripture, you know, when I first read it, you know, it kind of stuck with me. And um, last night I was kind of um, just out in my garage, whatever, you know, kind of got it set up, you know, with a projection screen, stuff like that. So I lit an um, incense. And when I lit the incense, you know, it, it, the way that the smoke flowed across the, you know, the projection um, light, it was just, you know, it was just so, for lack of better terms, it was just beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And I was thinking to myself, like, wow, every single section and every single swerve or swirl of that smoke, the Lord actually created that scene. He actually created that scene for basically only me to see. So... Looking through the eyes of, you know, when you're looking through your eyes and you're seeing everything that's around you, all those things were created. All the noises you hear, the smells that you smell, you know, that, that was actually written. That was actually put together. And when you think about that, it's like, it's like, wow, like, you know, the Lord, his understanding really truly is infinite. You know, just think about everything that you see around you, everything that you're looking through your eyes, your lens. Because everybody is seeing it differently. You could be standing there with 20 other people and y'all looking at the exact same thing. And, and all 20 of those people are going to have different thoughts on it because the Lord wrote it that way. He created it that way. And that's a beautiful thing. So when you think about how powerful the Lord is, it's kind of like, why worry? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I mean, it's I mean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, he even creates situations of um, worry, though. You know, he creates all things, everything that we go through. The Lord actually created it, man. So, you know, man's goings of the Lord is um, according to um, Proverbs 20 and 24. And, and the more, you know, I seem to get into it. I mean, it's just like it's so amazing, man. I just found that to just be so amazing. I'm just looking at that smoke and I'm like, wow, the Lord actually created this actual thing with the smoke swirling the way that it's swirling. Pretty much overall, just for me, because I was, the, you know, the only person there, you know, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing, man, what the Lord is. I mean, it, it's 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 really like unfathomable. It's really unthinkable, man, of the power of the Lord, man. It's like so. Basically, I mean, if you know, if he brought you into this truth. If he showed you this truth, if he brought you into this thing and and sh and really has shown you the trueness of this gospel, then you're blessed, man. I mean, that's a blessing. You know, you know, no matter what we go through or what we might um, experience, the Lord created those experiences. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing that he can't do. You know, it's nothing that, you know, um, yeah, Deuteronomy 32 and 39, it talks about how the Lord, he kills and he makes alive. He wounds and he heals. He says, there's no God with me and neither can no one deliver you out of his hand. There's nothing you can do about any situation that he wants you to be in. So as we go about our day-to-day -day, um, business and we do what we do all day long, that's those that thing was already written. It was already um, put in place, you know, so it's nothing that we can do about it, you know, even down to the mistakes that we make, you know what I'm saying? Like it was written, you know, and that may sound kind of crazy, but I mean, it's I mean, the Lord, he created everything that we're, we're, we experience. He created all the, the, the emotions. He created the scenery that we see around us. He created all the sounds that we hear throughout the day. You know? He creates, you know, uh, uh, situations where, you, you know, your car might break down. Or, you know, you might be at the supermarket and you see something. It's just, it's nothing you can do about where you are and what you're doing overall. I mean, you, you can't do anything about it. So let's get that again. Psalms 147 and 5. Great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. 
you know, and when you go up into that word infinite, I mean, it's it's ongoing, it's 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 it's, it's continual. You know, it's um, um perpetual, so to speak. You you can't, it doesn't stop. It's gonna always be that way. And uh, you know, let me grab a couple of these precepts on that. And I was reading it. Let me go to uh, yeah. Let me just get the ones that go off into that. They got some precepts. His understanding is infinite. So um, they have Psalms forty and five. Many, oh Yahweh, my God, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us work. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. No, you 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 can sit for an eternity, man, dang, <laughs> and be trying to think of all the things that the Lord put together and, and, and created. You know, we don't have no understanding of how someone could put together something like the sun or the moon. You know, just everything around you. Like when you look at it, it's like, you know, the Lord created that, you know, through our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, which the word equally calls Jesus. All right. So they have Psalms 139 and 17 and verse 18. How precious also are thy thoughts unto me, O Yahweh. How great is the sum of them. If I should count them, they are more in number than the sand. When I awake, I am still with thee. And that's a beautiful thing too. You know, when you awake in the morning and, and, and you can still call on Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy? He hasn't taken away his name from you. You know. He hasn't taken away his Holy Spirit from you. You know, that's um, Psalms 51. You know, pray that the Lord, um, would, you know, would not remove his Holy Spirit from you. You know, that he would not blow out your candlestick, you know, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? And constantly giving you oil. You know? So um, they have uh, Isaiah 40 and 28. It says, Hast thou not known? Hast thou not heard? That the everlasting God, the Lord Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, Fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. <laughs> you know, Esau, you got Esau, the so-called white man. He tries, you know, and the scripture talks about that. You know, um, he basically, you know, he's trying to search out the earth, you know, the, the, the width and height and, you know, going all off into the oceans and stuff like that. Because the Lord said that if, if um, roughly paraphrasing, if they can do that, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? The Lord will forget about the children of Israel. And Esau, he's constantly out here, man. He, he's all out in space. He's got satellites. He's he's doing all these different things, you know, trying to um, measure the earth and search out the earth and search out the skies and search out the galaxies. And he's never going to be able to do it because it's, it, it, it's, it's infinite understanding from the Lord, man. <laughs> you know, and this dude, he's in a real trick bag, man, because he really believed that he can do it. Okay, and they have Romans 11 and 33. It says, oh, the debts, the death of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. See? So I wanted to just do the, a quick lesson on this. I'm not going to keep it long. That was pretty much, you know, when I, when I seen that smoke, you know, that, that, that scripture popped up. And it's just like, wow, the Lord actually created every design of that smoke that was that was flowing. As a matter of fact, there's a scripture that talks about um, his voice. Let me see. Uh, Do that right. Let me see here. Yeah. I think it's in Psalms as well. Yeah, yeah. Psalms um 29 and 7. It says, The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. See that? The voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. So when you see fire and the way that it is moved, just think about fire though. Just think about the you know, as it's crackling and you're seeing it, it's moving. It's got different colors. It moves here and it moves there and it sways. It, do, it does, you know, does all these things, you know. Because, I mean, fire is a beautiful thing, but also the Lord look, um, uses fire um, as a, a, that's one of the um, spirits of vengeance that the Lord uses as well. As far as um, Ecclesiasticus um, 39. 
chapter uh yeah um in the um book of Sirach and um the apocrypha he uses that fire as a um you know, because fire can be used for good. It can warm you. It can cook. You can cook with it. But he will also he can also use it to destroy. So with that, I thought this was dope, too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Psalms 29 and 7 again, it says the voice of the Lord divided the flames of fire. So the Lord, his understanding is infinite, man. So, you know, I guess, you know, uh, don't 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 beat yourself all up about, you know, certain things. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, just just move in faith, man. You know, actually, so like you. Actually, you know, how about you? I was shot for forgiveness and keep moving, man. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures talks about a man falling seven times or or, or um, roughly paraphrasing that, you know, you can fall. But and we're going to fall. I mean, none of us are perfect. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it's the thing. Oh, uh, how about you? I was shot getting you back up. And sometimes he'll he'll rid a man. He, he'll just get rid of a man or woman. You know, and, and don't allow them to get back up. And, you know, we're praying for, you know, uh, mercy on a day-to-day -day basis because we need it. You know, we need those sure mercies of David, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, our forefather David, David, he done, a, you know, a few things that could have had him put to death. But the Lord had mercy on him. But he still had to go through what he went through, you know, but the Lord had mercy on him, man. You know? So, none of us know our lot. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has already written it. And hey, cash your cares to Yahweh by Shimmy outside, man. So I'm gonna end out there. I pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam your solo.